right, so now that we've finished our green peppers, we're gonna go ahead and do one of our red ones. And we're gonna basically follow the same thing. We're gonna start with our kind of light green and a little bit of our ivy mixed in. And we're just gonna do our best just to hit that top part. But a little bit of green is gonna come down onto the red and that's okay. You want that. It's going to give it a little bit more life. It's gonna make it look a little more realistic. In fact, if you wanna pull in a little bit of that yellow, you absolutely can. There we go. And you can see it just deepens up the red at the top, it makes it look more ripe. There we go. And if you want to kind of continue it down, you can. Now on this one, because it's already red, this, this kind of poppy orange isn't really going to make as big of an impact. We can put a little bit of our orange on there just to kind of, you see how it highlights it, brightens it up a little bit. And I'm going to do that on one side. And then on the other side, I'm going to grab some of my burgundy, a very small amount. A little bit of this is going to go a very long way. And I'm just going to hit this bottom tip, kind of like I did with the red on our green ones. And there we go. There we have our red pepper. Now, if you find you get too much, don't panic. Go back with your red. Go back with your orange and just blend it in. You'll get a little dark spot, but that's okay. Nothing's uniform in nature. In fact, if you want to take some of that really bright, bright yellow, hit it, hit your pepper in a couple places to kind of highlight it, make it a little different than some of the others, go ahead and do that. They're not all going to be exactly the same. And the, and the more variance there is, the more realistic they're going to look. 